So I want to introduce you guys to a new system that I've been thinking about for a long time now. This is a system that is designed to where you can accomplish just about everything that you want to accomplish while in a camp environment. You know, a lot of people subscribe to the idea of a one tool option. I was no different. I actually went and I searched for the one tool and everything, and you know what I found? I didn't find one. Is what I found is a bunch of tools that worked for individual needs, but not one tool that worked for everything. And I don't think we're ever going to find it. So a lot of people build a sheath around the one tool philosophy. And I like this idea. The only problem is, as I see nowadays, a lot of people getting very gimmicky with it. People are putting things on their sheaths that I don't necessarily believe need to be there, but then again, it's not really my opinion, uh, or it's my opinion, but um, if they want to put it on there, they can by God put it on there. But I built a one tool sheath that I believe you guys might want to look at. I'm actually calling this the one Swiss option. And I'm calling, him, calling that for obvious reasons. I have a lot of Swiss made products on this thing because I believe in them. They put out some really nice products. Now the first thing that you're going to notice that I put on this thing is a nice beefy one half inch ferro rod with plenty of reusable cordage. After that, let's move on to the carabiner see on the dangler instead of using a ring I went ahead and put something on there that can be used now this carabiner is rated so and I'm gonna put all those specs in the description box for you um, if you had to repel down a mountain you could certainly do so with this particular carabiner now moving to the back side of the sheath what good is your knife if you can't maintain that edge keep it nice and honed or possibly even sharpened depending on how severe you used it well on the back we have a Fall Niven DC-3. Now these stones I truly believe are the best stones out there. These things will remove a lot of material fast if you use the diamond side but if you're just wanting to hone it up you flip it over and you know that nice jewel side does the job really nice. They advertise that as ceramic but I believe it's actually jewels now but I could be wrong. Now moving it back over to the front of the sheath, obviously we're going with the Mora Black. Now it was a toss up between the Mora Black and the SE6. Why did I choose the Mora Black over the SE6 whenever this was to be a one sheath option? Well it's simple, it all comes down to time spent with that particular knife. I have used the SE6 and I really enjoy and really like the SE6 um, as a manufactured survival knife. However, I've used this Mora Black way more than my SE6 and the Mora Black always impresses me. That knife, this knife, can outperform just about every custom knife out there. Um, I truly believe in this knife and that is why I chose this knife because I have spent more hours cutting wood with this than I have an SE6 and this has never let me down ever. But you're still limited in the things that you can do with large knives or medium knives so let's have something that's going to complement it. So on the front here is what I have is I have a pocket for the Victory Knox Swiss Champ. Now, if you guys have never actually seen the Victory Knox Swiss Champ, I strongly suggest that you do because this thing is a toolbox. You can do literally just about everything that you possibly want to do with this thing. I mean, you've got several, and by several I mean two knives, a small and a, well, they're both small. You've got your saw, you've got a fish scaler, a gouge remover, hook remover, you have got your scissors, you have got pliers, 
you have got screwdrivers, you've got magnifying glasses, you've got just about everything that you're possibly going to need on this thing that you could, if you dream it, you can do it with this. Didn't you ever see MacGyver? You know, Victory Knox, you're actually going to start seeing a lot more of their products on my stuff. Um, this is a pocket knife that I truly believe in. I think that they put out some very nice quality knives. It was funny because the first time I talked to my wife about this, she said that uh, she thought that they were crap. And is what she was meaning is she had ran across somebody that had a fake Victory Knox pocket knife. And if you ever run across one of those, they are absolute dog crap. And if you truly think that they are a Victory Knox, they will put you off of their knives from that day forward. But alas, they are very nice. Um, they have got things online that show the manufacturing of these particular knives. And I tell you what, they're actually really, their factory is pretty impressive. It really is. Now you take everything that I've presented you with here, knowing that I left out the gimmicky stuff, and I ask you, what could you achieve with this? Or better yet, what couldn't you achieve with this? You can achieve a lot. Um, just like all my products, I don't want to let this go. This is a product that I truly believe in. Would love to get some field time with. And in fact, I think I'm probably going to do um, just that. I'm probably at some point going to build my new, my, myself a new rig and I've been wanting to put my, my Swiss Champ on my personal rig for a while now as well. Now you've got a couple of ways that you can order this product. You can order this product with everything on it, stocked, brand new Mora knife, brand new Swiss Champ, fire steel, you know, the uh, sharpening stone, carabiner, all of it. Um, or you can buy this as an individual sheath that will come just with the carabiner. So if you're watching this video right now, how do you know that this item is still available or if this item has been sold? Well, look at the title. If the title says available, the item is available. Go to my website, order it. If the title says sold, it's no longer available. I still encourage you to go to my website because you should never know. You're still going to find things there that you may not know I had. Moving into the future, um, knowing that my backlog is dang near complete so if you are one of the people that are waiting for an item know that you are getting it very close because my backlog is very small at this particular moment so moving into the future is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building new items such as this um, around basically I'm going to be buying up items that I truly stand behind that I support and I believe in and I'm going to be outfitting them and making them available. Um, I'm not going to be doing as much custom work as I usually have. I'm not going to get myself into another predicament with a very long backlog with hundreds of bosses. It's just not going to happen. So is what we're going to do is, like I said, I'm going to make items that I want to make, offer them for sale. Now occasionally you're going to see me get on my Facebook group and say something along the lines of, okay, I am now going to take five custom orders who wants in on this and I'm going to take it to personal message at that point and we will hash things out I will still make custom items for charity events of course as well as a few other things that I deem necessary but for the most part that's what I'm going to do I'm going to buy items that I truly believe in whether they be manufactured items or custom items outfit them and sell them as is they won't always be knives. They won't always be belt pouches. You know, sometimes there are going to be things like insulin and diabetic kits. Um, just use your imagination. There's going to be things that I offer that you won't really find other places. So that is going to be the new business model. So. Anyway, I hope that has explained things a little bit for everyone, and I hope that everyone also finds the one Swiss kit. Um, I hope they find it as 
cool as what I do, and uh, I hope you're the one that gets your hands on it. I'm Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs, and as always, have a good one.